Welcome. So excited. Paving your way to home buying success. My name is Keely Gray and thank you for joining us. Um, I've got several members of our Summit Real Estate team right here. Uh, we're missing a few, um, but we are so excited to talk with everybody today. Things we're going to talk about are secrets to buying like a pro. Everybody wants to know how to buy like a pro, right? So um, I want everybody to introduce themselves and then we'll talk a little bit about how the webinar is going to work. Who would like to go first? I will. I'm Allison Simpson. I'm the owner broker of Summit Real Estate and have been for been a broker for um, 20 plus years and just love every minute of it. And um, we're glad that you're here to join us today. Awesome. Thank you for being able to join us, Allison. We're happy you're here. Hi there. I'm oh, sorry. Hi there. I'm Isabel Rawson. Um, I have been with Summit Real Estate for four years, but doing real estate for a little longer than that, and in the county for 22 years. Hey guys, I'm Trisha Moore, a buyer specialist with our team as well. I am certainly the baby of the group. Um, have only been in Summit County for seven years, but have enjoyed every moment. Awesome. We were so happy when you joined our community and our real estate team. Uh, so you guys will see there's a chat section that you can use. There's a Q&A section that you can use. The chat section, let us know where you're listening from, whether it's in Summit County or Colorado or a different state. We would love to hear where you're um, dialing in from. And Q&A, whether it has to do with the topic we're discussing at the moment or anything related to real estate, just put it out there. We're happy to get all of your answers questions, <clears throat> all of your questions answered. And chat you can also use that. Let us know if you currently own in Summit County or somewhere else, or if you're a renter or an investor. Again, thank you for joining us. At the end of this, you'll have an opportunity to schedule a one-on-one -on -one personalized buyer consultation. Uh, that is something that is very important in helping us get to know you, you getting to know us further, and uh, helping to determine what your real estate needs are and what your goals are. So a 30-minute, no obligation, one-on-one -on -one buyer consult, we would love to, to set that up with you. Anything to add, ladies? Hey. I just wanted to. I just want to say that um, you know we're so glad you're here, and the reason we wanted to do this was because there's a lot of things that we get asked day in and day out as brokers in Summit County. Our location is very unique as a resort community. Things are different than they are perhaps when you bought your home or if you own a home, um, you know, in a in a more of an urban area. Things are different here in the mountains, and uh, we just wanted to share some of those uh, special details that make our place unique with you today. So hopefully this will help. Absolutely, absolutely. So tips to buying in our unique resort community, um, using a local lender, using a local realtor, why you should use Summit Real Estate, technology, and intertwining um, the COVID-19 crisis in with all of these topics and how that, um, how that is changing things a little bit. So understanding our unique resort community. Allison, you just touched on, you know, a little bit how we are different. What yeah. else makes us different than a lot of other areas that people might be from? You know, it's a resort community. So things are very, very, very different. And we've got, you know, even though you might have a, um, some similarities, there's lots of things that are different as well. So maybe Isabel, you can tell us some of the things that are different about our resort community. Sure. So here in the mountains, um, we have a few different property types. We've got condos, townhomes, duplexes, single family homes, lots as well, vacant land. Um, and the question we get asked most often is, what's the difference between a condo and a townhome? And with the townhome, you own the ground below you and you have no one above you. And then with a the condo, there's uh, people on either side of you and then could be above and below as well. So that's one of the big main differences. Okay. 
Awesome. And um, something else that's unique to Summit County is deed restricted properties, which mean that you um, have to qualify for that type of purchase. You have to be a local. You have to live here and work here. Uh, so homeowners associations are what we refer to as HOAs, and there's a lot of HOAs when we are looking at condos and townhomes, and really some single family home subdivisions as well, especially the newer ones. And yeah. what those HOAs cover uh, can vary. A lot of times the utilities are included, uh, management of the HOA, insurance, property taxes, the utilities that we have to look at on a case-by-case -case basis or condo complex by complex basis are typically electric, gas, heat, Wi-Fi, things like that. Yeah. Rules and regulations that when you buy into an area that has a homeowners association, you not only have to pay into that uh, for the management of the community, you also have to follow those rules and regulations, whether it's pets, whether you can or cannot have pets, how many cars you can park there, um, if long-term rentals are allowed, if short-term rentals are allowed, things like that are very important to consider a condo or townhome or a single family home. And what else would you, what else would you have to add to that? Maybe about, um, Yes, what, just one thing I want to mention is a lot of times people will come up and they and they say they, they are used to living in a single family where they don't have any HOA fees and they say to us, I don't want to pay high HOA dues. And and I get it that the dues can seem and are high sometimes up here in the resort communities. But keep in mind that a lot of the things that are covered that the HOA covers are things you would have to pay if you didn't have an HOA, like your, you know water, sewer, snow removal, trash removal, um, utilities. Uh, and also, if you are in a condo or a complex that has hot tubs, pools, other amenities, you have to pay for those. Um, and, they, and it comes out of your, your HOA. So that's something we can help guide you through looking at if the HOA fees are, um, are in line and also um, you know, help you with like what sort of reserves they have and, and help you navigate that because it's important to know. Definitely. And Tricia, what can you tell us about uh, a buyer being able to review these things, how much the dues are, what they cover, what the rules and regulations are, the financials, at what point, at what point can a buyer do that? You know, sometimes they will have that information available to you prior to you even putting in an offer, which is lovely. But there's certainly a, a deadline very early on in the transaction that gives you the time to look through, review, like you said, look at all their financials, their meeting minutes, and really get a good feel on what you're getting into um, prior to moving forward with the next steps. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Good to know. So don't worry. And, we'll help uh, you through it. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's something we'll talk about later is uh, why it's important to use a local realtor is that we know these condo complexes, right? We know the ones that haven't had any exterior work done recently and they might be looking at a special assessment coming up. We know the nuances of, um, of all of these different areas and condo complexes. So we'll touch on that a little bit more with Allison. Okay, Trish, what else do you have to tell us about our unique resort community? What about transfer taxes? Sure, I was just gonna say to add on to that, assisting you in ensuring that you are aware that certain areas of Summit County have a transfer tax, yeah. um, what that might look like, who pays for that, um, assisting you to research the neighborhoods, what is it close to, walkability type, situations. Um, and then, you know, just remembering that once you have that property picked out, you can always update uh, the inside, the property itself, but the neighborhood, the views, those sorts of things aren't going to change. So lots of views in Summit County, um, something that, you know, certainly is uh, the upside. You can always uh, update the inside, but you can't change that. 
<laughs> and it's hard to find a bad view. You know, lots of buyers say, well, I want a property with a view. Well, what does that mean to you? Yeah. And right. that's something that, you know, when we have our one-on-one -on -one buyer consultation, what does a view mean to you? For some people, it's, it's the lake and the mountains. Some people, it's just trees. So right. that's the importance of a one-on-one -on -one personal buyer consult. Sure. If you have any questions, put them in the Q&A. Okay. Why it is smart to use a local realtor as opposed to a realtor from Denver or anywhere else in Colorado? Why is it important to go local? Hey, we get it. You, if you're from, you, first of all, you have to find a realtor who's from Colorado because you have to have a Colorado real estate license. But I get it. You might have someone that you've worked with that helped buy your place in Denver or somewhere else on the front range. You have a relationship with them. You feel comfortable with them. Um, I understand that. And what I'd like to tell you is that working with someone who is familiar with the area that you're looking to purchase is just absolutely vital. Um, you know, we can tell you the ins and outs of the neighborhoods. And it's more than just like, oh, I like to ski at Breckenridge, so I want to be in Breckenridge. Well, we might be able to steer you to a different neighborhood that you hadn't thought about. Um, and the other thing is, I think, uh, you know, a, a place, a property might look like it's a complex, might look like it's old and dated and run down, but we would be able to tell you, hey, this one's located by some killer trailheads. There's a back path to get to the um, chairlift. And you know what? They're planning on doing some updating to the exterior. Um, maybe there's even like, oh, there's a new performing arts center going in. We can also tell you the downside of like, oh, this might be a little closer to the, the sanitation department than you want to be. <laughs> um, so anyway, I think it's, I think it's very important. Um, realtors are not all the same. It's very important to work um, with someone who knows the area that you're talking about. We'll save you money, time, and a lot of stress. Absolutely. And how does uh, working with a local realtor right now in the midst of the COVID-19 crisis. Yeah. I think it's important that, you know, we understand and acknowledge that state regulations can be different from local regulations. So who would like to talk about how COVID-19 is affecting our local real estate and how we are up to date on everything that's going on? Trish? Certainly down in Denver, they may have um, different restrictions or they may have been told this is what you need to do different even over our neighboring counties. I think it's really important when working with a broker that they know where they're going, what they're supposed to be doing and can quickly get over there to take a look at the property for you if you can't be there. Um, and we'll talk more about that later with um, how easy we can make that process if you're out of state. Um, but during this COVID crisis, certainly I think it's even more important to be working with someone local that can uh, really tend to all your, your needs and ensure that you are putting the best foot forward. And keeping everybody safe, right? And healthy, right? And following the rules. Trish, how many, uh, how many gloves did you go through yesterday when you were showing property? 24 sets, 24 <laughs> sets of gloves. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's awesome. um, lots of hand sanitizer and wipes and all sorts of stuff to ensure that we're all staying safe. That's good. That's you know, awesome. one other thing that, um, that I'm really, really proud of our team is this, the recently the Summit Association of Realtors uh, created a new designation called the Summit Area Specialist. And our team is one of the very first teams to be fully um, certified. And really it's, it's, um, it's a lot of things they had to go through. Isabel, tell us some of the things you had to do to get this Summit Area Specialist designation. Sure, thank you, Allie. Um, this designation is fantastic. So as a realtor, you need to keep up on your education and do so many hours per year. With this designation, it means that the designee goes above and beyond with their uh, education. We take special classes uh, that are pertinent to Summit County, like radon and wildfire classes. We also have to be involved in the community and volunteer, and so that's incorporated with it. So we're out there um, volunteering and uh, being in front of people. It's important. Yeah. I mean, the bottom line is you absolutely, all the time, but especially during this like crazy 
mixed up time is work with someone who knows the area that has your best interests at heart that isn't just like trying to come and help you without knowing the area it's really important right and trish you have an experience with um your sister-in-law right? right she wanted you to help her but you're like eh, i'm not gonna your interests aren't gonna be best served i feel like it's a total disservice to attempt to help family and friends in different areas because I'm not an expert in that area. I want you to receive the best service possible. So I would refer that out in a heartbeat. So we recommend using local no matter where you are. And That's we have right. buyers that want to uh, purchase in Eagle County or Steamboat or Winter Park, or they're looking at the different options. Uh, we refer them to a broker that's really specialized in that area. So that's have, part of what makes us awesome as well. And have a really fantastic network of brokers throughout the state and the country. Any area that I'm not sure of, I'll say, Allison, who do we know here? And she immediately has someone on hand that will take fantastic care of whoever we're working with. Yeah, anywhere you wanna buy or sell in the country, let us know. We have an amazing network of just the top realtors in the country, so. Absolutely. Anything to, else to add, ladies, about the area knowledge? I think we've talked a lot about the neighborhoods and condo complexes. Um, market knowledge. The markets, you know, part of us being specialists in our area and acknowledging that our clients aren't best served by having us work in an area or a market that we're not familiar with. Um, our market knowledge is different. Uh, it's not the same market in Eagle County or Steamboat or Denver. And we know what's happening here. We keep our fingers on the pulse of the market. We're constantly looking at um, the statistics and the figures. We know the market. We know what's happening here. Okay. The importance of using a local lender. Talk to us about that. Why, why should we also choose a local lender, Trish? I can speak to this one. Uh, I'm super passionate about it right now at the moment as I have some clients who have experienced perhaps not the most smooth transaction. Um, first and foremost, speeding up the home buying process. A local lender is sure to make the process smooth from beginning to end to your closing date. They can quickly qualify homeowners associations, which oftentimes are more troublesome than qualifying you as a buyer. So that is something that I think I can't stress enough is so important. I had a, um, my clients this week, they did end up closing, which is fantastic, um, but we did have to extend out the closing four separate times. Luckily we had very accommodating sellers and they were happy to do so. Um, but not everyone would be so accommodating. So um, that's certainly first and foremost. Using a local lender also ensures that you're looking at the right properties, that they fit your, um, all your specifications. Um, you will feel completely confident when you are submitting an offer that you're not going to run into issues later on down the line. Um, finally, I guess I would say more than maybe even more important they really do give you a leg up during your negotiations even before you go under contract using a local lender and ally maybe you can speak to this but when working with sellers a lot of times if you've got two contracts in front of you that are identical one's working with an out-of-state lender the other is not yeah yeah that might be the ticket right there to why your offer gets accepted yeah i i work primarily with sellers and you know, when I get an offer, when I get something from um, another a buyer, I look to the pre-qualification letter. We look to make sure that it's a lender I know and trust, um, that's someone who's mo mostly familiar with doing loans in Summit County. Because as Trish said, I just want to re-emphasize, a lot of people think, oh, I just have to get pre-qualified and I'll get the loan. But if you're buying a condo or a townhome, um, the complex has to be, has to meet the underwriter criteria as well. And so you and, and Denver lenders, people that are from different states, they don't understand how that works. So it's really important to have somebody who knows the, the ins and outs of it and, and that we are able to get a hold of. It's easier that way. So, Yeah, what's your phrase, Keely? What do you like to say? Uh, 
we like our lenders um, and service providers within strangling distance. <laughs> Nothing goes wrong. <laughs> Not that we've ever had to do that, but Trish might have done that a few times. We did. We know where they are. <laughs> we, did. we know where they are. Exactly. 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 Bottom line, they are, they have our community as their best interest because they are part of our community. They are our community. And I think that that cannot be overstressed is um, they are here, people that have multi-generational um, companies that are assisting us. And it's really nice to, to know that they, they truly care. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, Isabel, technology. If anybody in our office and our team has questions about the little gremlins that drive us nuts as far as why isn't this working? This is, it worked yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, we always go to Isabel. She is just up on it. She knows her tech and she's amazing. So it was a no brainer for Isabel to talk with us about technology and how you as buyers and us as brokers use it to navigate the process. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you, Keely. So technology is so important and it's what helps make the transaction a little bit more seamless, I would think. 80% um, of our buyers start searching for their ideal property online. And so they um, start that search before they even talk to an agent. And so I think it's very important to make sure you are using a trusted source when it comes to that. And that's our Summit County MLS, the multiple listing system. Our MLS has the most up-to-date and accurate info available, and whereas some other sites are only 70% accurate, and that's kind of a disservice. You want to make sure you are seeing that everything that's really available on the market. Um, not to mention we have great, um, you know, that one on one buyer consultation that Keely mentioned. We are available for that, whether it's through Zoom, a platform like this, or FaceTime, or even a phone conversation. We are here for you to help you uh, find your dream property. Yeah. And here we've had a great track record with getting buyers uh, their property without them ever seeing it in person. And we use things like FaceTime or Google Hangouts. We can go over there and record it and send a video to you. And I think that's so important these days, especially with the COVID crisis going on. Um, and with, to just go over there, pop over, video it for you and send it off your way so you can look at it at your convenience. I think right now, with the uncertainty, people don't want a lot of people in their property. And so it's important to have someone here local to just pop over there and do that for you. Absolutely. Isabel, I think it's interesting when we are having conversations with brokers um, across the nation, really, and how, you know, in webinars and seminars that we're attending, using these tools during this COVID-19 crisis, uh, FaceTime, video, go is something that they haven't done before, that they're having to learn how to do that for the first time. We have been doing this for years. Right. Uh, so it's not, it's not a learning curve for us. Uh, Zoom might be, uh, but FaceTiming and selling property long distance via technology, we've been doing that for years. So that's pretty cool. Yes, we've yeah. got this. We've got um, and and then as Allie, um, on her end, I know lots of listing brokers are, and I think we've done this for a while, is they're utilizing that Matterport a little bit more and like the virtual tours so that you feel like you're in the property touring it around and without really seeing it in person. Is that right, Allie? Yeah. Yeah, I think the, you know, the, the cool thing about the technology and, you know, if there's anything to be grateful for, um, it is the fact that we have this technology and we, we are able to do this. And, you know, it's, it's the, the term they're using right now is safer at home, right? So if you are still interested in purchasing, we can, we can definitely get the process started through all of this great tech. So, so it's fun, too. It is fun. Mm -hmm to make the transaction seamless as well. All of our contracts, addendums, um, all that paperwork is all online and e-signature uh, enabled. So you don't have to be here signing documents. Um, that's really easy to send back and forth communication wise. 
and then closings from afar, not a problem. Our title companies um, are used to doing what's called mail outs, you know, sending you the package where you have it signed, notarized and sent back and voila, you've got yourself a property here in the mountains. <laughs> it's just that easy. <laughs> that easy. It's awesome. And then here are um, a couple different avenues that we uh, can show uh, what's on the market to our customers. The first one is kind of a more desktop version. So if you're that computer person, that's perfect for you. Um, that's our MLS. And then the other one is MLS Touch. And you know, if you're on your phone 24 seven, um, that might be a great way to see what's on the market as well. And both of these are safe and secure and convenient for you. So you can look through property in the comfort of your own home and um, not fear that you're missing out on anything. Right. So true. Amazing technology. And that's another thing about uh, using the local Summit MLS that we have access to is it is up to the second with new listings, with price reductions, when something goes under contract, it is the best source of information to get from a local realtor. Any other tech that we're using, ladies, or excited about? Multiple like screen. It's changing every week. Yeah, there's new things every week. It's so much fun to pay attention to. Yeah. I just wanted one, one other thing to, to mention is, you know, there are a lot of other um, online uh, tools that you can search out like Zillow and Trulia, Realtor.com. And that's a great place to start. Um, but just one more you know, reiteration of what Isabel said is the only thing that is 100% accurate is our MLS. And we as brokers in Summit County are the only people that have access to that. You won't get that from a Denver mm -hmm. broker. You won't get that from Zillow. They don't have all the information. So if you want 100% right up to date, immediate access, Again, local brokers are where you'll get it. So we got you. We got you. So that's why you should choose Summit Real Estate, right? <laughs> you, you do have a choice as a consumer, as the buyer, as a seller. Um, having a relationship with your broker and your lender, it is a relationship. And that's something that we pride ourselves on uh, here at Summit Real Estate is the relationships. Our mission and our philosophy are two really important things to us, and I think they really exemplify who we are and what we stand for. Our mission is to exceed your highest, whoop, highest expectations by bringing more thought, creativity, accountability, service, and wisdom to the task of buying and selling properties. Our philosophy is whether you are buying or selling Summit County real estate, we understand that the most important real estate transaction is yours. And we are really very, very proud of that. Our team yeah. here, 10 fun ladies. That's also a reason why Summit Real Estate team is so amazing is because we, we enjoy each other. We're friends. We spend a lot of time together. We like to have a lot of fun. We work hard so we can play hard. And we like working and playing together too right? What else makes us unique as a team? I just want to go back to our philosophy of, um, you know, a lot of times when you look at brokers, they'll, you'll see, you know, I'm number one, sold the most, I do this, I do that, I, 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 and we're all about you. You are at the center of our transaction. It's not a transaction. It's, we, we love our community and we want to bring in more people that we like. We have a great time and we want, we want people who want to have a great time and who love Summit County as much as we do. So we get it that you're at the center, not us. Absolutely. We've uh, been here for a long time. Um, I've been in Summit County for 20 years with Summit Real Estate for 18 years. I, I think that speaks to the quality of what Summit Real Estate stands for and has to offer. I like to say that some brokers change their offices like they change their underwear and uh, <laughs> Summit Real, there's no need to change. Once, once you come work with us, you will never work with anybody else. You're only a stranger once and we enjoy working with our clients who turn into friends. Isabel, what else um, about education and the Summit Area Specialist designation? Um, how is that beneficial with working with our Summit Real Estate team? 
Um, <laughs> we're Sorry. just up, we're just on it. We're, we're always taking classes. We, we, you know, yes, you're right. We're, we're up to date on what the trends are with what's going on. Um, we know the events that are happening. We, we're, it's such a great community and you, you're close to everybody. And so, um, you don't want to mess up because the motivation is you're going to see them in the grocery store the next day. Um, and so it's all just really great and collaborative and, um, you know, top notch. We tr we really strive to do the best for you, the consumer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Keely, well, you said we like to have fun. Yes. When I first started at Summit Real Estate, one thing that I found to be pretty awesome is the kick-ass parties that Allison will throw to celebrate mm -hmm. our um, clients turned friends. Um, during the summer and um, we'll have winter parties at a basin just to celebrate our clients and let them know how appreciative we are of them um, being in our community and being awesome. And that's something yes. that um, I found to be pretty delightful when I first started. That's a good point. That's a good point. Clients turned into friends and um, celebrating those relationships and the community members. We also have a moving truck available uh, for our customers. We've got a ski medallion. Um, Allison, do you want to talk about the ski medallion and the Summit Foundation and how yeah. we use that to support our community? Yeah, I think it's another thing that is so um, really near and dear to my heart and special about our team is that we are a group of givers. Um, and we support a lot of the things in the community. You know, during this uh, COVID crisis, we've been supporting the hospitals by taking them food and, um, and treats and taking lunch to our, the workers at the um, city market shopping center and, and just helping. And on an ongoing basis with every closing we have, we make a donation to the Summit Foundation. And then sort of as a, a perk for that, they give us, they let us use one of their um, medallions. So it's a ski medallion that we can use at any of the ski areas in Summit County, including Vail. And, um, we lend that out to you. It's, it's, we appreciate our customers. And so anyone who wants to use the medallion, just call up and reserve it and it, you get a free day of skiing. So we've got, we've got a, a, our SRE club is our special VIP club for our customers um, that we have, we have a lot of great perks and a lot of fun things that, because we do enjoy our customers and we love working with you and, and want you to have fun working with us too. So thank you. <laughs> Definitely a club you want to be a part of. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, are there any questions that anybody has now? Um, put it in the Q&A chat. Let us know um, where, you're, where you're calling from today. Not calling, zooming. <laughs> watching. Where, where you're Zooming, watching from today. <laughs> what is the weather like? It is beautiful here in Summit County. It is, that has really helped, don't you think, girls, with the spring actually getting here? <laughs> and another week of distance learning and safe at home, safer at home, is that it feels like spring in Summit. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Yeah, we look forward to a time when we can spend even more time together and um, I'm hoping that we'll have even more um, health and safety and loosening up this summer, so. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> we appreciate everybody's time in watching this. We really do. Uh, the one-on-one -on -one buyer consultation, you can uh, click, go to Facebook, and then there is a book now button right over here. Hit that, and then you will be able to schedule your personal one-on-one -on -one buyer consultation where we will really um, dig deeper into what your goals are, um, what your future in Summit County looks like. And it's a pleasure working with all of my teammates and members. You're awesome. And we look forward to helping you with anything that you might need also. So please don't hesitate to reach out. Team at summitrealestate.com. Our office number is 970-468-6800. You can follow us uh, on Facebook, 
Summit County Real Estate, Instagram, yep. LinkedIn, all of those, all of those good places. So YouTube, we've thanks. got some videos uploaded YouTube. there. Yes, that's right. That's right. Where we do more um, exploration of the different areas and the different towns and the neighborhoods right. and some yeah. unique things that, that the different areas have to offer. So in closing, thank you. Ladies, anything you would like to add? Thank yeah, you so much. Yeah, thank you. We look, for we look forward to hearing more from you and, and answering more questions and keeping this conversation going. Awesome. Okay. Talk to you soon. Talk Bye. To you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Stay well. <laughs>